crafty friends welcome back to crafting with the gringas in today's video we're going to be making a to-do list so I've got this one it's double-sided so you can use one side or the other and we're going to be using some contact paper two pieces of cereal box I'm using some double-sided tape but you can also use whichever glue you prefer like a glue stick or or anything else like that so for t today's video I've got these two little things that I've recycled out of my planner from last year I've made sure that they're basically the same size so I did cut these down slightly I like the little saying what do, what you do makes a difference and you have to decide what kind of difference you want to make. So I feel like that will be a nice little quote to have all year round. So I can have this hanging, put it somewhere that I can see it every day. And then on this side, I can just make a couple little lists or a grocery list or whatever we want, like a craft project list, some notes or whatever we want to put on this. And so what I've done already is I've taken my little page and I've done this just a little rough mark around it so I'm gonna take and cut that out and I will meet you back in just a minute okay I'm back and I've cut out my where I've cut out and make sure that my paper fits on it okay and now what we're gonna do is you see I've got this these two sides I want mine to be extra sturdy so what I'm gonna do is tape this onto the cereal box and then cut it out again so I'm just going to add my double-sided tape, just along the cereal box. Okay, I think that should be enough. So I'm going to pick these off. Okay, so just keep rip off all these. Now I'm gonna take my cereal box and I'll just lay that flat on there. Okay, and now I'm gonna cut out all the way around as close to that box as I can get it so that it'll be exactly the same. And I will meet you right back. Okay, now I'm gonna prepare the corners. I have a little bit of I'm going to add some more tape. So I'm going to take this off. What, baby? That's Rocky that wants to talk to us today. <laughs> this does require a little bit of patience, so be patient with it. So I've got my little tape and I've got some pre-cut, I've already cut these out. It doesn't really matter exactly how wide they are. You are gonna want it to be as straight as possible, but if you've made a little mistake like I have here, that's not gonna matter all that much. I'm just gonna lay it on the box and I can cut that off right there. And maybe I can use this piece on the opposite side. Okay, let's fold it, turn this over, and we're going to add some tape to this side as well. So we're just going to secure that. So that way we've got our that way we're going to have our sides covered just to make sure that our sides aren't going to show up we don't have to see that box on this I'm going to leave a little bit less of a margin but as you can see on this one I did leave quite a bit more space just around the edges this one has a little less too it's not perfect but it's fun Remove this and like I said if you've got a glue stick a glue stick will work fine because we're gonna cover this in contact paper My glue sticks just aren't that 
great. <laughs> so I'm just going to use this. I feel like it's a little faster for me. Okay, I've got a little crease there. You're going to want to fold it over carefully so that you don't end up with a crease like mine that has. I'm just going to chop off the, ex the little excess on this side. Okay, now we're going to do this side exactly the same. I know that we're mostly crochet, that so far we've mostly done crochet. Um, and I don't think that will change much, but we do like, I, I like to, and I know my girls like to do other things. And so every once in a while, if we find something like this that we'd like to share, and if you think about it, this could be, this could work really well for crochet because you could have this in your craft room. You could use it to write down gift lists of gifts that you want to make for people or your projects, anything like that. I think that in any area of our life we could use, I think most people can use a nice to-do list. So or just something fun to look at, right? Or a place to put some notes. And then the nice thing about this is this contact paper is that it doesn't, it does rub off a little bit, but you're not gonna lose everything if it gets smudged. You, you do need to use kind of like a baby wipe to wipe this off or like a moist towel. And so, it's a little bit harder to lose. Like your kids can't come and just wipe it quite as easily. So that works very nicely. Okay, so we're just gonna finish off this little white part. So we just get that. Okay, this time I'm gonna fold it a little cup more carefully so you guys can see. I'm gonna start in the middle and fold it and then kind of go out. Okay, that way we get just a little bit better of a fold. We're not gonna want a ton of creases, so that should help just a little bit. Okay, so this is the side I'm gonna be working with. So I'm gonna glue this. I'm gonna put some tape on this one. Okay, this part's fairly important. So we're gonna remove the tape. You're gonna find whichever side looks a little nicer. And you're gonna remove only one part portion of the tape. Okay, so we're gonna try to make this as evenly distributed as we can. On the side that our tape, we don't have our tape. So where I've exposed my tape, it's right here. Because once that tape touches down, like I say, mine touched a little faster than I wanted it to, but it it's there to stay. So like I say, that's gonna be a little bit higher up than I wanted it because it did touch just a little bit on that corner. Okay, so then what we're gonna do So we're going to go removing the tape one by one so that we don't get wrinkles in our paper. So we'll remove the tape one by one and go laying it down. And like I say, if you've got a glue stick, then that um, works well for you. That might be a better option, might be a little bit easier. I like this tape and I feel like it works well for me, but 
it is a little finicky at times so if you've got a glue stick or probably not super recommendable like normal like glue like either wood glue or that because it makes ripples and it's a little bit harder to get spread out evenly and make it look nice on these kind of cases and so but that's completely up to you baby you want to talk say hi crafty friends no <laughs> she's pretty talkative today right we're gonna repeat that same process with this side and I'm gonna meet you back when we've got both of our sides glued on here okay see you in a minute okay I'm back and I've got both of mine glued on okay so now we're gonna be on the next last step I want this to the be my front and so what I'm gonna do is I've got some contact paper which is here they sell it as like plastic cover for books if you know what that is it's also similar to the um, transfer paper from Cricut but it's, I'm not sure if it's exactly the same thing I've purchased mine in a roll because here the kids have to cover all their books for school so we're gonna want to take our paper it's a little hard to find get the edge but I have cut this out to be just a little bit bigger than the item that I want to cover I'm not gonna lie it does take its fair share of um, patience trying to get that open but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I've got the shiny side down and I'm gonna go making like opening just the top a little bit okay if you can see that and then what I like to do is squish down the backing on it so that we when we apply it to our item it's gonna be even okay so again we're gonna want to make sure that we've got it centered as well as we can and then we're just gonna put it on that little top little part right there like that okay and then we're gonna smooth that out now so we're gonna want to make that sure that's pretty smooth and on there very well let's see now I'm gonna flip that over so I'm gonna hold I'm gonna be pulling on this little part okay I'm gonna pull it slightly and then with my thumb okay I'm gonna pull it a little bit and then just go over and smooth that out with my thumb so I'm gonna do a very small amount every time this is a little finicky so you're, you're gonna want to be careful because it will get bubbles in it okay so we're just gonna keep adding it if you don't have this it's not gonna look quite as uniform and it's gonna be possibly a little harder to write on but you could get some clear packing tape and do about the same thing or you could probably get those page protectors or like the binder pages and you could use that as well I am so sorry I lost a little bit of footage but what I what I did is remember we had a little bit of overlap so I had my we applied our contact this way and then after that since it was overlapping a little bit I went off and cut the corners like this okay and then those corners I just folded over very carefully as you can see I have just a little bit of plastic on each one okay and now I've got a slightly smaller piece of plastic that we're going to use for this side so we're going to do the we're going to use the same process like we did before so that we can I feel like I've <laughs> within the years that I've used this I feel like this is the easiest way to get it to go on smooth without any bubbles or anything like that and like I say you're gonna want to make sure that you have it kind of centered um, before you let that before you let the tape fall down you want to make sure that it's as centered as you can get it okay and then just smooth that out 
And this side, what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be cutting off very carefully that little edge. So I'm going to cut mine off right now. Make sure that you don't go snipping at that little edge that we've left earlier. Okay, so I've got that little piece off already. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to go smoothing over. Making sure that we don't get any bubbles. You're going to want to try also not to get like your nail because you don't want to scratch, scratch it up, which usually doesn't scratch too bad, but you just want to keep that in mind if you can possibly not scratch it with your nail it'll it'll be good as well okay so I've got that so like I say I have this little overlap here what I the footage that I lost was that I just cut like that and then folded it over okay which we could do right now but um, I want this side to remain nice and pretty so that I can sit it out. Okay, so we're just going to want to make sure that we don't clip any of that white that we have there. And like I say, mine is not perfect. If you guys are having a hard time with some of the steps or of, with any of my tutorials, you know, you're not alone. Like, let's, let's make 2024 a year that... We can forgive ourselves if we mess up, that we can try something new even though we've messed up on it before. Like me with knitting, I've been wanting to knit and I just haven't been able to. It just My stitches are all wonky and I just haven't been able to get it very nice. And you know what, this year I'm going to embrace that and just try to, try to work on it and you know, I'm going to buy myself some wooden needles because I just can't keep my stitches on the needles that I have right now. But 2024, let's make it a year that we can be nice to ourselves and do stuff, something fun for ourselves. This is going to be the end of our tutorial. So I hope that you enjoyed it. I guess we can just get our whiteboard marker and write... A little message oh and I missed ran out of room but thank you guys for watching our video and I will see you back tomorrow in the next one and I hope you guys have a great day bye